Welcome to episode two of the series. Today I'll be showing you how AI tools like ChatGPT and Microsoft Copilot are transforming the world of hardware prototyping and how they can help you speed up your proof of concepts. Want to build a connected smart home device, an industrial sensor, asset tracker? With the right prompts, AI tools can generate ready to flash code that used to take hours or days to create in the matter of seconds. It's really incredible how creative you can get with these tools, turning your ideas into something you can hold in your hands immediately. While generated code isn't meant to be deployed in production, it can help significantly speed up the proof of concept phase of your projects. Let's jump right into building something with ChatGPT and Arduino. Today I'll be working with an Arduino Nano IoT ESP32, which uses a Nora W106 Wi-Fi module with an integrated antenna. The ESP32 and Arduino combo is popular for its versatility and easy to use libraries in developing internet connected products. I have a rough concept of the kind of product that I want to ask ChatGPT to help me to build. Uh, I have a SAM M10 GNSS receiver and an LCD display. I think it would be pretty cool if it could help me build a device that could help me navigate back to my campsite as I'm moving around kind of like a digital compass that I can program a home location to. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT for some help. I've experimented a bit in developing an effective prompt to get ChatGPT to generate Arduino code. And here's what I've learned. You wanna be very specific with the components, libraries, interfaces, and functionality that you're targeting. If you're not, you'll still get working code, but you'll be spending more time making minor tweaks and modifications. Let's test out this prompt. In my testing, I found that ChatGPT limits you to about 115 lines of code per response, but you can get around this by requesting a subset of functions per request. There are some creative ways to get around this limitation that you can find online. You can see that there are a few functions missing code. To get around this, you can ask ChatGPT to simply complete those functions. Another really cool feature is that you can ask it to modify the existing code to add additional functionalities. For example, right now I'm just navigating offline, but I want to be able to publish my location via MQTT over Wi-Fi. I can simply ask ChatGPT to make these modifications and it'll re revise my code for me. It did a pretty good job generating this code and leveraging the open source libraries, but behind the scenes, I had to make some minor modifications, such as rotating the orientation of the arrow on the display and telling it which function to use from the SparkFun library to get heading via GNSS. You can see that it generated quite a bit of code. I'm right up to about 250 lines or so, so it's quite impressive. Now I'm gonna take this, flash it onto the board, and take it outside for a spin. Now I moved over to a park to do some testing and I'm sitting right around this area under the trees and I want to set my home location to a reference location. Um, so I'm just going to pick somewhere out in the field in front of me and then copy these coordinates over into my code. Now we'll see as soon as I turn on the device, it'll attempt to connect to my Wi-Fi hotspot and the MQTT broker. You can see it does that pretty instantaneously. I'm using HiveMQ's public MQTT broker and I can connect to it and add the topic that the Arduino board is publishing to. Once I subscribe to this topic, I'll see my position information, which is being output at a rate of one hertz. We could see I've set my reference location and because I'm using only dynamic heading, it's gonna be a little finicky with the arrow, but generally it's going to guide me to that spot. So now my distance is closing in. I'm only 12 meters away. It's still pointing forward. And I'm just about at that location now. So as I walk past it, I should see this arrow turning around again. And now it's pointing behind me as expected all while this data is being published to the MQTT broker. Pretty cool. Ublox provides hundreds of modules including Wi-Fi, cellular, Bluetooth, and positioning products, as well as end-to-end -end connectivity and location services. 
Combined with our broad portfolio, AI tools unlock infinite potential to start innovative IoT projects using not just Arduino, but more complex operating systems as well. What used to take hours or days can now be done in a matter of minutes. What will you build next? 